Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and I'm so excited to share with you today our second grade homeschool curriculum that we have been using this year. Um, we actually have been using the same curriculum for five years now. We use Memoria Press Classical Christian Curriculum. And um, so my second grader, he's gone through the kindergarten and the first grade, and now we are in the second. So if you want to see the videos where I shared the things that we like about the kindergarten and the first grade, um, go check those out. Um, and today I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm just going to kind of show you the things that we really enjoy in the second grade curriculum. But if you do want to see a more in-depth video on exactly what is in the second grade curriculum for Memoria Press, then you can go on their website and she has an amazing, um, an amazing uh, video where she goes through exactly everything that is in the kit. So um, yeah, so today I'm just going to show you what we like about it. Um, and so I'll flip this around and we'll get started and I'll just kind of show you everything that we enjoy. Okay, so here is a very big overview of everything in the second grade curriculum. Now, um, again, they have read aloud sets that are over here that you don't have to purchase um, if you wanna save money, but the rest of the curriculum set is all over here. And I think I'm missing a couple things, but I'll explain that when I get to it. Um, so here is the curriculum man manual, which is amazing. Um, it has absolutely everything that you need in it to teach second grade um, classically to your child. So um, it, ha it gives you a great checklist here. It says stop and then you can go through and make sure you have all of your books in the box um, just to double check. And then here are some great teaching guidelines for every grade and I and I did show that more in the other grades as well which is just super helpful and then there's also a recommended schedule and a place to write your own schedule which this is this is really nice so um and I've just like copied this part and then written it out how I wanted to and put it in my in my own uh planner and that's been super helpful for me um Right here, I'm just going to show you kind of what everything that you are going to be, you would everything you'd be teaching in the sec in second grade. Um, so first, you do rest. We have recitation and classical study, or sorry, Christian studies, and then spelling, which they do spelling. It has a phonetic approach, which I really love, um, and I'll show that. Um, just it's the second book um, in in first grade. You do the first the first book. Um, you start spelling in the first the first um, traditional spelling book. So they have the second one for second grade. So it's it's um so I really like I really like this book. Um just the way that they have it lay, laid out and you're you're learning a new, you know, phonic there's a phonic phonics fo focus <laughs> for each lesson. Um, so that is super, super, um, helpful and, um, it continues them learning that, those phonics, um, sounds that they need to. Um, and there's usually, so there's, um, there's, there's activities for each day. Um, you go over the definitions, you go over sight words, and then, um, again, you'll be, you, they would write down their words each day. They would say and then spell and then say them with you, which is super um, helpful. And then there's a practice test and a um, the main test at the end of the week. So um, that's kind of the spelling there. Something that's different in the second grade is the Latin and the grammar, which is so important because did you know that 60% of the English language comes from Latin. Um, and so <laughs> it's very important that we learn Latin, actually. Um, so be, because the English langu language has lots of Latin roots. Um, so it helps you just understand words better and grammar. Um, 
And then, of course, reading, math, um, copy book, and memory, which, again, is they're memorizing Bible verses and copying them down and also, you know, poems and things like that, too. Um, and then cursive again. And by the end of second grade, um, your child should be writing pretty much everything in cursive. And so I'm excited. We're almost there. <laughs> and he's doing super well with that. So, and then we have lat uh, we have literature and enrichment down here. And so every day you have kind of a different thing that you would do here. So first day, the first day of the week, you do your read aloud book for the week, and you kind of do a study on that. You, um, I'll show you that book here in a se or <laughs> that part of the enrichment here in a second. Um, but you would want to try to read them each, you know, each book three times in a week. Um, it just uh is very helpful for them. Of course, when you get to third grade, um, you're reading more like chapter books, so it's you can't really do that. But um, for these, for, for second grade, with these smaller books, that's important. Then we have um, a music selection that we learn each week. The kids love that. So there's a classical music um, selection that we listen to and talk about, and then the art selection. And these are the art cards. And I show this also in first the first grade curriculum. Oh, there's super bad glare there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but because I laminated them. And that is really nice because the kids love to just flip through them. And then I put them, you know, on this ring here. So they get to look through them. And then on the back, of course, it has the um, a little bit of information there about um, the art selection. And so they have lots of fun with those. And they enjoy looking through them and, you know, kind of memorizing the, the names of them and things. Um, and then over here, they, we have a poetry, we have a poetry selection that we read each week. And usually we like to do a, like tea and treats during that time. Um, there's also a craft book and I don't actually, we don't use it because we do our crafts at homeschool co-op, the homeschool co-op that we are a part of. Um, so, but they are super fun crafts. So there's, there's one for each read aloud that you do each week. So, um, so you'll have a craft that you do each week with your read aloud, which is really oh, lots of fun. So, um, and then over here, you'll see there's some history and culture and that's in the enrichment book. Um, and then there's, um, where you do science, which usually it's reading at this age. Um, you're reading some, um, science books from the science read aloud set which is so, they are so, so, so good. Um, but there's also a couple activities in there too sometimes and things like that. So I'll kind of give you an overview of what the enrichment book looks like. This is what it looks like. And um, so for the read aloud book, you have some things that you read before you start the story. And it kind of gives you a little bit of a background. It gives the kids and you a little bit of a back background on the author, illustrator, some things to think about before you read. And then you would go into the vocabulary words and you'd stop as you're reading and discuss new words that they weren't sure of. And so um, my children's vocabulary and comprehension because, um, because we do this is super helpful. And so there's like a picture review and a comprehension questions here too, um, which are super, it just, it just seems like that they, our com their comprehension is super um, good compared to some other others that just don't do this. So it's super important, I think. So there's quite a few questions, and it takes quite a few. It takes a while the fir first day to go through those questions, and then when you read the book, you know the second and third time in the week, you don't have to do all the questions again. Um, but you might stop if there's a vocabulary word, vocabulary word that they don't remember. But there's also a after you read and a language lesson, which is really um, just kind of give them a little bit of a uh, idea of some, some language things. And then right here you've got the history and culture. And you can kind of see, um, you'll look at a map and you'll do something in your composition and sketchbook, which I do not have here, but um, in my stack. All right. So I had to put a little guy, <laughs> I had to go put a little, my little guy to bed. So, um, back to the enrichment. Um, so it's got a little bit about the art, a little bit about the music and poetry. 
all here and um, then there's also a little spot on this side well there's a page on this side for you to write some of your own teacher notes things that you might want to add in maybe some activities or things like that and you could write them in there for you know for your math and your or I'm sorry for your science and your history so that's super helpful to have those notes there and then I think let's see sometimes there's also stuff in the appendix that um, are helpful as well for different science and things like that so parts of the boat of uh, a boat and a world map and just some different things like that um, so those are so nice to have and lots of fun um, as well and so they also have you know a music enrichment that goes a little bit more into and that's this is actually for kindergarten through second grade so it's gonna have um, each week so there's a the kindergarten if we go to second grade right there and um, then it'll have the week and then it'll have about um, that certain composer and a little bit you know questions and things like that so that's really nice and then um, for the for the Christian studies this goes along with the this is for kindergarten and second grade also um, this goes along with the Bible that you get in the kindergarten um, set so um, it has, again, some definitions and some questions as you're going through and reading the Bible to them. So that's how the Christian studies go, and I really like that. Um, we also do add in um, our catechism questions, and sometimes we add in, you know, hymns or um, things like that um, as well. So um, you can kind of make that your own. But um, we also, they also have the, um, there's, you know, the cursive book, just like last time, um, is really fun. And so there's, there's some, you know, activities more so on this one than the actual learning of the letters. Um, so they can do more practicing with that as far as second grade goes instead of the first grade one. And then the copy book um, for second grade is a little bit different. So now they're getting into um, doing their copy work in cursive, and they're going to write it, you know, they're going to look at this page and then write it down here. So it's obviously, you know, it's, it, it's a lot more helpful for the bigger students to do it that way. Um, and they kind of learn how to copy it, you know, from other things. Instead of having the words, like in the kindergarten in the first grade, they have the words here on the copy book, and then you write them right below it. So... Um, so that's a little bit different in the second grade. Um, I really love the books that they read. So, um, so these are the books that they're reading to you um, in second grade. And you get a teacher's guide and then you get um, a, you know, a workbook that has their student study book, a study guide, I guess. So they're kind of, you know, they're doing some things with, they're answering questions, um, doing language lessons, um, there's vocabulary and activities for each um, chapter that you're reading. So this is for Beatrix Potter, The Tales of Beatri Beatrix Potter, which I love the books that they, that they read. So um, they read all the, um, this, these, these four of the Beatrix Potter books. Um, you know, Tom, the tales of Tom Kitten, Johnny, um, Town Mouse, Peter Rabbit, and Benjamin Bunny. And then they also read, uh, Little ha The Little House in the Big Woods, which I, we love the Laura Ingalls books. We've read them like a billion times. <laughs> so, um, we read the other ones often. <laughs> um, and then this one's also really good, which... I had never heard of before we got this um, curriculum set, the Prairie School. Um, the boy is very reluctant to learn how to read, and so this is this is more um, at the beginning of the second grade year, and um, my boys have both loved this, and they they also have loved these as well, <laughs> the Animal Folk Tales of America, which are just super fun. 
So, um, and the pictures are great too. Um, the other thing that, let's see, I didn't, I don't, oh, the Latin, I didn't really look through the Latin. So, um, the Latin, if I can move that over there. So the Latin, um, they now have English grammar practice along with your Latin, um, and you do a couple pages each week. So that's been really nice to practice, you know, the punctuation, capitalization, and grammar. Um, and you just get a little sheet and kind of go through that with them. And so that has been really nice um, add-in that they just, they just added that. Um, and then for, for Latin, um, it's really simple to teach. I was super scared of it at first <laughs> because I did not learn Latin. But um, you get the CD and it has um, the DVD and it has the lessons on it. And then you also get um, the uh, CD that has, you know, the pronunciations on it as well. And so really it makes it super simple for you. And this is, this is a lesson right here. And they go through it in the DVD, and then these are the words that they're learning. They're learning a prayer, um, the, derivati um, the derivatives here, and a little bit about, you know, some grammar, about verbs and things like that. And, um, and then you learn a little practical Latin saying up there. So this um, is really simple, and it's not as scary as it really seems. <laughs> so... Um, so that there's a teacher's manual for that, a student's book, and then there's also some copy work in Latin as well. Um, and then I'm trying to say what else I think. So then there's the CD and the DVD as well. Um, so that's been super fun. Now what I absolutely love are the read alouds, and so um, they're just oh they're just they're just great books, and everybody. You know, all my kids just love sitting around and reading them. Um, so there's the St. Valentine um, is one of them. Um, the Ant and Elephant. The Gift of the Tree, which is just, that's a it has lots of beautiful, beautiful illustrations in that book. Um, Verde, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, the Easter Egg. We have George Washington's Breakfast, The Emperor's New Clothes, The Gardener, Paul Revere's Ride, Lucy's Summer, Emily, Sam Bangs and Moonshine, The First or The Thanksgiving Story. The 4th of July, which is another good one. Um, Island Boy. A Visit to William Blake's Inn. That's a fun one. Um, the Monkey and the Crocodile. Oh, my kids love this one. Super silly. <laughs> um, the picture, a picture book of... Em sorry, Amelia Earhart. Um, farewell to Sa uh, Shady Glade. Cyrus, uh, uh, the unsinkable sea serpent. Um, the big snow. Johnny Appleseed. Oh, and then this one is a favorite during Christmas time. Um, the Christmas miracle of John Jonathan Toomey. So. Um, let's see, the boy, um, the boy who drew birds, and I'm going to move this over a little bit so they're not, like, falling, <laughs> um, Mr., let's see, McGillicuddy's Pool, Dr. Seuss, of course, um, Amos and Boris, One Morning in Maine, we Gillis, the five Chinese brothers, Mabel the cable car, and C 
Cinderella. Now these are all the ones that um, are for just the read, this is the read aloud set. And like I said, you can purchase the read aloud set or you can just um, look through the list and um, you can save the money and go to the library and get them. Um, we chose to purchase them because um, we're a military family and move, move around a lot. So we just were able to take them with us. Um, and that's just a lot easier. They also have a um, read aloud science set as well. And so those have been super, super good too. And we love them. So um, rabbits, rabbits, and more rabbits. And this one is horses. Um, so we just, we get to learn about so much in these books. Um, the sky is full of stars. Um, this one is not <laughs> in this set, actually. I just added it in there, um, because I saw it, and it's another one of the Dr. Seuss books that they normally use in this set, so somehow it got in the stack. Um, so, <laughs> one vote, two votes, I vote, you vote. So, um, that's a good one, too. You should add that one to your set. Um, okay, and how does a seed sprout? Ant Cities, The Honey Makers, How to Draw Insects. Um, oh, my kids love these books. So if you've seen these before, you know, it has, it just goes through and shows you how to draw, you know, a praying mantis or something like that. So those are fun. Um, there's no place like space. How do apples grow? apples is a camel a mammal the great migration um, whales B is for bagpipes a Scotland alphabet that's super fun um, monkeys clam I am D is for democracy oceans earthquakes, snakes, rocks and minerals, let's go rock collecting, and lungs. So that is everything. <laughs> and um, like I said, that is one of my favorite things about, I mean, all the sets is just the classical literature is super, super fun and everybody enjoys it. Um, I think we've enjoyed pretty much every book um, that they've either read or I've read to them um, in this curriculum. So um, that is absolute, absolutely our favorite. Um, go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed um, learning about the um, Memoria Press classical curriculum that we use. And um, if you have any questions, go ahead and you know, feel free to leave them in the comments or, um, or if you have, you have books that you really enjoyed in second grade, go ahead and, um, tell me about the, those, or, you know, leave the titles in the comments and, um, that'll be fun. Just, um, and, um, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you so much for joining me and, um, have a great Friday.